Hi there. How are you? My name is Asla. So, what do you do for your eyebrows when they get bushy? What do you do for your face when it's all hairy? Well, this video is about how I work my eyebrows when they get bushy and how I shave my face basically. That's what this video is about. So, the purpose for that line that I'm drawing is to give me guidance as I'm tweezing and as I go in with the razor blade after tweezing. So it's just a thin line to give me guidance. That's on one side of the brow. So I do the same for the other side. I just make sure that line is close to where the eyebrow is. Is that even English? I don't know. Okay, well, yeah, so it's just light strokes very light strokes then we get our tweezer and begin working it take your time as you're doing this feel free to look into the mirror raise your eyebrows close one eye that's a joke anyway point is look into the mirror be sure that both eyebrows are similar i don't know i never get the exact bro for either side one is either higher than the other but well so that's a tweezer i'll be using gently pull on those hairs i guess you're wondering does it hit pain or does it hurt um when i had just began tweezing i think that was like four or five years back it used to hurt pretty much as in it would really hurt my eyes would get teary but not anymore i think i've done it for a long time now so it didn't hurt so take your time as you're doing this it's not something you do hurriedly take your time when you get the hang of it then you can do it hurriedly but be careful with the kind of tweezer you're using if it's the sharp kind of tweezer it will pinch you and then you'll bleed so just take your time as you're doing it run the spoolie so it will take off the hairs you've plucked that were still stuck and it will give you a clearer view of what needs to be removed. So some hairs will be quite hard to pluck. That's no problem. We'll go in with a razor blade. So get your spoolie, run it again. Run it as many times as you desire. So that's the difference. I hope you can see. There's a difference between this bro and the other bro. So now we're using the razor blade. Still we are going beneath the line. So there are just those small hairs I could not get with a tweezer. That's what I'm getting right now. Take your time as you do that and make sure you you pull onto the skin eh, as you're doing it so the razor doesn't cut you. Be very gentle as you're doing this. At times the razor blade can, I don't know, maybe for some people, some people say it's it's big. Feel free to break it into two so it's easier to use. So I think you can see the difference between that and that. So we got to the top of the brow. I don't cut into my eyebrow, just at the top. To give it that neat shape. Gently do this and don't forget to pull on your skin as you're doing it. So that's what my brow would look like. So on to the other side. Take your time as you pluck. Take your time as you pluck. Gently do it. And please enjoy the process. I don't know about you, but I like awesome looking brows. So whenever I'm doing this process, I enjoy it. Did you notice I have gray hair in my eyebrows? <laughs> well, that's no issue. I'm I'm okay with gray. I hope I'm I'm thinking you already even saw them in my hair. So run the spoolie and do the same. Get your tweezer. Tweeze out what's beneath the line. And please be sure there will be those hairs you can't get. Well, I like a neat looking bro, so I'll go in with a razor blade and cut them out. Otherwise, take your time as you're doing this and be gentle. Yeah, it hurts sometimes sometimes i pinch myself 
but yeah you know you keep going <laughs> so on the spoolie so I hope you can see those hairs so get your tweezer this is really up close for me to show you a friend asked me so do you have to pull one by one sometimes you the tweezer ends up pulling more than one which is okay and more painful but that's fine I never wait for my eyebrow to get really bushy for me to do this process because when it's bushy then it's more painful have I done threading before yeah I've done threading I actually like the result of threading it's just that we're in lockdown and we have to groom our faces even if we're in lockdown so oh by the way I'm from Uganda for those of you who didn't know <laughs> yeah so get your razor blade don't forget to pull onto your skin as you're working the razor blade look at that then work your razor blade gently and that's below the line so that will give you a neat bro please be gentle well, I'm always using a new razor blade, so that's why I have to be really gentle as I'm doing this. Well, the exciting part about shaving my face and my brows, when I'm going to do makeup, it sits so neatly. That's the part I love. Take your time. Take your time as you're doing this. And be gentle. You guys have you guys checked out my Instagram page? It's the Beauty Hub at the Beauty Hub UG. You should go check it out. I have a Facebook page as well. It's the Beauty Hub UG still. Yeah, the same name. I will be putting all this detail in the thumbnail. My Facebook page, my Instagram page. So it's clear. Otherwise, <clears throat> someone has an hair. Someone has a pretty hairy face. I don't even know why I wasn't putting on my skin at that point. But oh well, I didn't cut myself. That's a good part. I hope you can see how hairy my face is. I tried to get to make it clear this time. I've done a video about this before. A video on this before. It wasn't as clear as this one. One would ask, how do you know when to, like, at what part do you trim your sideburn? As in, what's, what do you use to know this is the point where I'm going to cut? You won't believe I never know. I just cut. So most times, the sides are not equal. The sides of my ears are not equal. My mom watched me do it and she told me, oh, you need to cut just where the ear ends. I'm like, okay. But for some reason, whenever I'm cutting, I never remember that part. Yep. I'm happy that this video turned out like this. Oh. By the way, I use my phone to film all this. I don't have a camera yet, but I'll get there. When the good Lord decides that I should have a camera. There we are. I don't know why that pimple came today of all days. Not that it's a big deal, but I just didn't like the fact that it was there. Yes, I have a moustache going and my brows meet and greet. So I have to cut in between. So I wash my face, but it did dry. Use that cream. I rubbed it into my face. Just be gentle as you're doing this and enjoy the process. Make sure the cream penetrates your skin do this when the skin is still damp rub it in remember the razor blade has 
pretty much scraped off all the oil on top of your skin so after you've washed it actually didn't put soap or anything i just washed it with water but it did dry because i'd already washed it before i began this process anyway we rub the oil in after we've rubbed the oil in we get a pencil and just fill in the sparsely populated areas well i'm doing this part for purposes of the video to show you if i'm going to step out and i don't need to wear makeup this is what i'll do to my brows otherwise i'm going to stay home so i wouldn't be doing this but this is just for the video otherwise yep yeah, that's what it looks like thank you for watching forget to like share subscribe bye